So, uh, what's up guys? It's here, here, Vinyl no, or Quadigy. And today, I've got a very different type of video for you guys. I could have uploaded a certain type of gameplay today, but I was just like, you know what? Screw the gameplays. A lot of people want to know how I play this game. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys. So, a lot of you guys wonder, I always jump a lot. I don't play very well. A lot of you guys wonder about my sensitivity. And in this video, I'm pretty much going to cover every single little aspect of my gameplay and the way that I play. As much detail that I can. So basically my best settings, uh, you know, that I use to play well on this game. I'm not a like a lot of other people. A lot of other YouTubers, they stick to other controller settings. Me, I tend to use something a little bit different. I don't think it's as mainstream as, you know, stick and move or using a scuff and playing tactical and all this stuff. But, uh, let's see if I start some kind of wave using bumper jumper tactical out here. But basically, you go to options over here and you go to your controls and here are my settings. The looking version is standard, I don't think that really changes much. It, you're, you play inverted if you're some kind of, you know, you play the game a little bit more weirdly. I don't know. It's just not for me, I, I play standard. I've known some, I know some people that play inverted and they are some freaks. So if you want to, I don't know man, I don't know how people do it, but... I play on standard. I play on 8-8 eight, eight sensitivity. I, I could change it up to 9-9 nine, nine sometimes, but I tend to keep it on 8-8, eight, eight, which is considered quote-unquote high. Playing on 8-8 eight, eight is a really good sensitivity because uh, for me personally, it's the perfect sensitivity in which I can turn off people, but also aim and keep my aim on target, in a sense. You know, horizontally and vertically, you don't really have to ver worry about vertically too much because, you know, there's no boost jumping. But it just it seems to be the right fit for me personally as a player You can play higher sensitivity if you want to just be insane and um, I guess take out multiple people at once in multiple directions But chances are you're not gonna put yourself in that type of scenario That's why I think uh, playing in a higher sensitivity or at least a super super high sensitivity Isn't the best way to go unless you can completely hundred percent control it Then that would be the case Playing on a lower sensitivity is a little bit more advantageous than playing on a higher sensitivity because um, you keep your, your aim on target, you know, you're not going to have to worry about uh, your, tar your target moving too much because aim assist also helps you in that sense. Especially if you're on a stationary position against another stationary position and in this game there's a lot of head glitchers, playing on like something like 3-3 or 4-4 or 2-2 or even 1-1 one, one wouldn't put you at that much of a dis disadvantage. Uh, as much as 14-14. Uh, Only problem is if somebody sneaks up behind you, then you're probably screwed. That's why I try to stay more towards like the higher end, uh, towards 8-8, eight, eight, because that's how I play and that's how I love to play. I love turning on people. I love being able to keep a decent track of my targets. And uh, yeah, that's how I play in that sense. I play with both target assist and aim assist. Um, definitely turn off target. don't turn off target assist unless you want to be a pro against... Uh, flashlights, flashlight shotguns in this game. Turning off target assist makes it so that your, your your gun doesn't automatically target anything, you know, in terms of your enemies. You know, it ke helps keeps your enemies on track. When you have it off, it pretty much relies on you having full control of your joysticks and having to keep track on your targets. And a lot of people, they just can't master that. Me, me included in that. I used to master it in BO2. I actually played without aim assist slash target assist and BO2 and kept the 2KD but when I turned it on I didn't mean for it to be off intentionally but when I turned it on I became a better player so you know maybe you should try it out but I don't advise it personally I play with controller vibration off there's not really a big difference between having it on and off I kind of forced myself to have it off because otherwise uh, like when it comes to my chat link cable on my Elgato it kind of messes up the audio sometimes that's why I had to learn uh, to take it off but I honestly didn't see a difference in my gameplay uh, having it on or off. It's just a preference that I had to make or a, a change that I had to make and I'm just used to it. Um, it might be better just because like, you know, your controller's not shaking all the time and you don't feel as nervous maybe. So maybe there's just that kind of mental ability to become a better player if you have it off. But yeah, I just, I just don't personally think there's a difference between having controller vibration on or off. Sprint Council's reload is off just because... um. If I'm sprinting, I, um, I I usually don't use the sprint button to cancel my reload. I usually I usually tend to press triangle triangle. Uh, triangle triangle to me is a lot better because you have control over that. 
obviously if I'm sprinting that means I want to run away I don't necessarily want to cancel my reload because uh, I'm running away and I want to reload at the same time in case I want to engage that gunfight once again you know if I want to manually cancel my reload I just press triangle triangle and that's why I stick to cancel reloading being off at least when when it comes to sprinting so that's that's a nice little tip for me uh, especially as well as like healing up I could be running but I want to heal up first and then reload as I'm running in a sense and then come back for the gunfight I don't know, scenarios like that that makes me want to think uh, a little bit more. Uh, sick layout is default. I don't tend to mess around with the other uh, layouts. Um, default just seems to work well. It's the most common and basic one, easiest to use. I just the other ones just seem like if you were flying a plane, that'd be a lot easier to use. But this is the way I play, and I love it. And here is where the the, the settings tend to take place. I with my button layout, I play on bumper jumper tactical. As you guys can see, I jump pressing L2, I heal using X, and I melee using circle, and I crouch or drop shot pressing R3, or I press down on the control, uh, the right control stick. I also play on flipped. A lot of people, um, they uh, they tend to play on not flipped. I play on flipped because I come from PS3, and uh, on PS3 it was flipped uh, on purpose. So coming from PS3 to PS4, I just feel like flipped is the way to go. I don't want to use the uh, the back ends, the bumpers, to try and uh, see what's up. But yeah, you guys might think this setup is weird, but it actually helps you a lot. I've been playing on Bumper Jumper Tactical Flip since BO3. Shout out to my boy Brandon or Saratova, as he was known back then for telling me about this. Uh, he was like, yo, there's a bunch of different uh, controller layouts. And I was like, oh, really? And as soon as I got on Bummer Jumper Tactical Flip, I was like, damn, this actually looks like a lot, very, very effective. Because pressing L2 to jump instead of pressing the X button is a lot easier than, uh, you know, pressing the X button to jump. It's just, mentally in my mind, it makes a lot more sense. You know, and then ADSing with the button right above it, it makes it so that I can aim in and jump and control my movement all at the same time. Without having had to like, like having to uh, sacrifice a finger for something else in a sense, and I keep my aim with my right thumbstick while jumping. It you, you might feel weird playing this way. I definitely felt very weird. You will feel like a true jetpacker. At least in this game, there aren't jetpacks, so it won't be that much of a ju an adjustment. But you will find yourself jumping a lot accidentally when first trying to adjust to this uh, setup. I love this setup because I'm able to do a lot of jump shots around corners. And as you guys know, drop shotting on this game is absolutely useless. That's why playing on Bone Jumper Tactical Flip or playing on Signal Move is the way to go. I don't play on Signal Move, there's a bunch of other YouTubers that do. Just me personally, Bone Jumper Tactical Flip, it's the most effective one. Especially if you don't have a scuff. If you have a scuff, then obviously there's something else for that. But for those of you that don't have a scuff, this is the best settings to use on Black Ops 4. Be careful when you're jump shotting though because jump shotting will tend to take your aim off of people um, in the most weirdest of scenarios. It like, takes your aim assist off for like a second I believe. Uh, it's not that big of a deal honestly. It's just in the middle of the jump it kind of messes you up. Once you have landed though then you're able to track your opponents a lot more easier if I'm not mistaken. Um, having to you know melee using circle you don't really use your melee much you know what I mean. Uh, I, I tend to have my right thumbstick on the right thumbstick, uh, my right thumb on the right thumbstick, and it's just it's an easy transition to press circle or X to heal, and then also reload. I don't know. Everything is just done really, really easily uh, using this controller setup, and I feel really confident playing this game. I've dropped 20 nuclears. I've dropped uh, multiple gameplays uh, using this setup. You know, all across the three years that I've been playing Call of Duty using this setup. So trust me, I, I think it's a pretty good setup. Uh, visual wise, I have brightness on 50%, colorblind mode off, I have full name indicator, uh, split screen orientation, horizontal, not even vertical. I mean, that doesn't even matter. What the heck am I saying? And then uh, preview screen, this is how it looks like, if you guys were wondering. And uh, yeah, let's look at audio settings real fast. Audio settings, I like to have the master volume at 10, just so I can hear everything. Audio presets, super crunch, so I can sound hoar everything. Especially if you're using acoustic sensor. Uh, Super Crunch just makes it so you hear every little freaking footstep easily and for me I could definitely hear across the map when I'm using acoustic sensor and since that's something I like to use a lot 
it, it just even dead silence users should be afraid of me that's all i'm saying uh subtitles i like to keep subtitles on this is an important one because sometimes you're not able to like keep track of everything that the announcers are saying so having the subtitles on so that you can read them it's easier for call outs because sometimes your characters be calling out and that way you know what to avoid and what to look forward to like somebody can say Hel enemy hellstorm inbound in the subtitles faster than like the an enemy announcer can say it or your announcer can say it, the voice announcer can say it so i definitely recommend having subtitles on it might be a little bit weird even though it says there's no subtitles in multiplayer and blackout there are subtitles in multiplayer and blackout and actually maybe not blackout but i know in multiplayer the subtitles help me a lot personally so if you're a person that likes to get things on the fucking fly then keep your subtitles on trust me it helps me a lot uh i like to keep my voice volume my music volume low because i want to hear the actual volume of footsteps and as well as team chat team chat is also all the way up because i want to hear uh you know all my my teammates calling out and stuff cinematics that doesn't really matter but voice volume music volume off I would even recommend having music volume all the way to zero if you don't care about the music. But I want to have an I want to have an appreciation for the music in this game, so I have it at five. But in other Call of Duties, I've kept it at zero because I just honestly don't see the point of it. Voice volume, I, I tend to have it at three, but at five, just because of little call outs that you know uh, my teammates or the enemies might make uh, that I can hear. But SFX volume, keep that all the way up because that's where your super crunch is gonna really, really come by and help you, uh, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, controller sound, I mean, you can keep it on and off. I never even realized that controller sound uh, matters, but uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say uh, in terms of uh, audio settings. So controller settings, I hope that that's going to help you a lot. Audio settings, I hope that helps you a lot as well in terms of sound whoring. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of the video. I might have some gameplay for you here at the end, or I might just leave it here. Let me know if these settings help you get your first nuke or help you really do well in this game. I almost have a 3KD uh, playing this way. I had the game early though, so I had to play against a bunch of other tryhard YouTubers and stuff before the game actually came out. So I had, to, like, I had a pretty much an even 2 until like the servers were on and stuff. So I probably should have a 3 right now if I didn't like, uh, I guess, injure myself in that sense. But I don't really care about KD. But I have a pretty decent KD for against my level. I'm about to reach Prestige Master. We should be pre reaching Prestige Master tomorrow if I play well enough today. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all I really got to say about controllers. Uh, the control settings that I have. Let me know what you use. If you don't tend to use mines, let me know if you're going to switch to mines and see if that helps you. But uh, yeah, I really freaking love you all. If there's some gameplay, you know, watch the gameplay. But uh, yeah, if this is the end of the video, then I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out my previous videos. You guys are all freaking big ballers. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye. I love you all.